editing is by far the most time consuming part of getting your podcast out there. But with Podcastle's new text based editing, it doesn't have to be. Let's take a look at why before I walk you through the steps of how to actually use Podcastle's new text mode, I should probably tell you what it is first. Text mode lets you edit your Podcastle audio files via transcript. Really, this is just a fancy way of saying this. Instead of having to listen to your audio over and over and over again, and having to manually cut out words, your entire transcript will be right on the screen, allowing you to seamlessly remove all of your ums, your ahs, and any awkward pauses that might've popped up in the recording. And unlike traditional audio editing, removing these unwanted filler words and any of the awkward silences doesn't take hours, it takes seconds. Just like it only takes seconds to hit the subscribe button so you can catch our next video where we're going over how to grow your podcast fast. Okay, back to text mode. What do you do with all of this space that you've just cut out? Well, if you have our storyteller or our pro plan, you can fill it in with AI magic. Podcastle's revoice and magic dust features are perfect complements to the new and improved text mode, allowing you to fill in the silences and to smoothen things right out. Don't believe me? Let's jump in and go through it together. First, you're going to record or upload your audio file into the audio editor. Then click on your audio track and select text mode in the top right hand corner. From here, you'll have the option to transcribe your audio into clear, easy to read text. Just select the tracks you wish to transcribe, indicate your language, and click the transcribe button. Hang tight for a moment while Podcastle works behind the scenes. I'm going to use this time to grab a quick cup of coffee. And we're back. Now, once Podcastle is done transcribing, you can see your entire transcript and you can see separate lines for each recording participant that you've decided to transcribe. First, let's try clicking on an individual word. Here, we can see three different options. Play from here, correct, highlight, and remove. Clicking this little remove trash icon will remove that individual word word from both the transcript and the audio file itself. But keep in mind that if you choose to correct a specific word, you are correcting the transcript itself and not the audio file. You'll also notice that as specific words are selected, the timestamp in the bottom left corner notes exactly where in the track your changes are taking place. If we navigate to the search tool, we can play around with the additional transcription capabilities, filler words and silences. Let's do filler words first. This is your one-stop shop for removing all of those annoying ums, uhs, and ahs that might have popped up in your dialogue. Our filler word detection automatically detects different versions of these words and gives the option to remove them individually or all at once. The silence remover tool is very similar but works to track silences within the transcript and provides similar removal options. You can even change the duration of silence that you want the tool to search for. All right, we've gone through search and transcribe. Now let's check out the transcription settings. Here is where you can update the font size and click on three distinct features, snap clips, simple mode, and remove empty clips. Let me call it snap clips for a second here. When turned on, this feature essentially decides whether a removed word should leave a gap in the audio or not. Basically, this just means that if you have guests on your podcast, you probably want to toggle this feature off as it might seem like guests and hosts are talking over each other if you keep it on. Next up is simple mode, which is pretty self-explanatory. If you have two or more speakers, turning this feature on will show all the text in a single line. And finally, remove empty clips. When toggles on, this feature ensures that any empty clips that are left after removing your words will be automatically removed as well. Okay, let's exit out of the transcription settings and talk about the export button. Clicking here provides the option to export your transcript as a PDF or a doc. This button auto-generates a brief summary of the recording, which will be included at the top of your export. And if you've added in any highlights, clicking this button will do just as it says, show any of the highlighted words as bold. Once you finish making changes to your transcription, just click on the audio button to jump back into the audio editor. And when you're all done, why not use the magic dust tool for achieving perfectly balanced sound? It's a finishing touch that will make sure everything comes together. When you're ready for your recording, to go live, you can export your recording to download the file and then publish it right to your show. 
And if you don't know yet how to create a show, don't worry because you can just dance on over to our full podcast tutorial. We're always coming out with new and exciting tools to make your podcast journey even easier. So just head on over to podcastle.ai and use the 50% off promo code down in the description below for access to all of Podcastle's features. I'm Amy and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.